one. A phase modulation example is presented. Two. Instead of using the function that was named add in our C sound module, it will be renamed as add tag to make its meaning clear. Further, there are checks to see if the first and last character are the angle brackets. 3. This equation shows what we are trying to do. In the C sound program we have to prefix each variable with the letter A to indicate that it is an audio operate variable. First Y3 is found as the output of an oscill with a frequency of F3 then Y2P is found as a sum of phaser of frequency F2 and the signal Y3 the variable Y2P is a phase term. Using the table opcode Y2P is decoded to Y2. Finally YP is found which is the sum of a phaser of frequency F1 and the signal Y2. Finally we decode the YP with the table opcode to get the Y output. 4. These steps are indicated in this instrument string template. There are three placeholders representing F3, F2 and F1. We have fixed the values of A and B. After getting Y, two envelopes are created for the left and right channels. There is a fast attack, and then the signal slowly decays, with fade out at the end. 5. The 10 instruments are created such that F3 equals 5 Hz, F2 equals 20 Hz, and F1 is going from 2200 Hz to 1300 Hz in steps of minus 100 Hz. Python knows we have a multi-line statement. If there is a starting delimiter such as square brackets until it finds a matching closing delimiter. The indentation level of a multi-line statement is that of the line that started the delimiter. 6. Now the sign table is created and 10 scores are written, one for each instrument. Seven. The wave file shows the effect of the envelope. 8. This is the frequency spectrum of the first score using the first instrument. 9. You will find additional information at pythonaudio.blogspot.com, including the source code.